Prime Minister Modi to visit Kevadia in Gujarat on Rashtriya Ekta Divas to pay homage to Sardar Patel on his 147th birth anniversary on 31st of October. India leading country in delivery of digital health services, says Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh. Ezzard's country has best technical manpower and cheapest data. Sixth high-level dialogue on migration and mobility between India and EU held in Brussels. Discussions cover safe migration and prevention of illegal migration. Foreign Minister S. Jaishankar appeals to all nations to rise above political differences to address terrorism. Regrets UNSC inaction at times due to political considerations. UGC issues notice, says online PhD programs offered by Edutech companies in collaboration with foreign educational institutes not recognized. European Union strikes deal on law to ban sale of new petrol and diesel cars from 2035 to speed up switch to electric vehicles. A 12-judge bench constituted in three days to analyze tax fraud linked to former US President Donald Trump's firm. North Korea fired two short-range ballistic missiles off Korean Peninsula, say South Korean military officials. At least 31 people killed and several others missing after overnight downpour floods towns in the Philippines. Indian junior men's hockey team plays out thrilling 5-5 draw against Great Britain in last round Robin League match of Sultan of Johor Cup. India to take on Australia in the finals.